it's our biggest and most exposed organ. Incidentally, it's also the one that we often neglect the most. I'm talking about the skin, of course. And as we head into the warmest months of the year, being aware of the risks and benefits of a healthy skin is absolutely pivotal. I'm joined in studio by Gauteng-based dermatologist, Dr. Pulile Mpofu. Welcome, Dr. Mpofu. Thank you for having me. I've alluded to the fact that the skin is the largest organ in our body and sometimes neglected. Maybe you can just explain to us what are the main functions of the skin? The main function is that it produces a mantle and is an acid mantle which protects the skin from free radicals, from pollution, from bacteria, viruses, fungi. It just helps as a barrier. It also is very important for absorption, which is important for drug delivery for excretion, especially sweat. Whilst doing that, it also helps with the temperature regulation because when you sweat, it cools the body. It also helps with sensation because we feel with our skin. What are the most common problems we see with skin in South Africa? The most common is acne and acne-related conditions in all ages, especially in puberty, but it can continue into adulthood. Inflammatory conditions like eczema is very common, more common in children, but it can also affect any age. Pigmentation like cloasma, which is hormonal, and uh, lichen planus pigmentosas are very common, and hair abnormalities. Those are the four most common, but what is most looked after mm. is skin cancer, even though it's not as common as the other four but it keeps us very busy because it's preventable. South Africa is a very hot country. We are very aware of that and we protect because most of the things we can't do anything about, but this is one that you can protect by educating the public to avoid exposure and by examining themselves regularly to determine when the problem has started. So on the skin cancer topic, how do we know what is a good sunscreen and perhaps what is a bad sunscreen? The important thing is to use sunscreens that are approved by a reputable body, like the Skin Cancer Association. It should also be above SPF 30. It has been shown that those that are lower than that struggle to really protect in such a hot environment. Is there anything in the skin that can be an indicator of something internal that's going on? Is there something that we can look out for? There are so many things that you can determine through the skin. You can determine hydration, anemia, malnutrition, vitamin deficiencies like vitamin C or pellagra. You can also determine infections, even COVID. There are some COVID-related skin conditions. There's HIV-related skin conditions, tuberculosis. Many infections can present on the skin. The interesting thing in immunocompromised people is that you have conditions that are specific for the, for the immunity. There are those conditions like herpes zoster, mm. shingles, mm. which are any time in the infection. But there are those specific ones, like oral hairy leukoplakia, which is a uh, white tongue on the sides, and an acne-like lesion that's itchy, that show that the, the, the immunity is below 50. Dr. Mpufu, what are the key things to looking after a healthy skin? Eating well, making sure your food is balanced, because if there's a deficiency in proteins, a deficiency in vitamin C, a deficiency in zinc or selenium, the skin is going to show it. But the most important is to have your conditions diagnosed, not to rely on word of mouth or YouTube to treat specific conditions that you have. I think the most important thing is to have early intervention of conditions before they start affecting your psyche, before they start affecting and leading to social exclusion and all that. Most of the conditions are treatable. There are so many lifestyle factors that can affect the health of our skin. Lack of sleep, lack of exercise, alcohol, cigarettes, bad eating habits, and the list goes on and on. Investing in the health of your skin won't just make you look and feel better. You'll enjoy more protection from potential serious diseases and infections in the long run. So go stock up on that sunscreen, drink lots of water, and be mindful about what you put into your body because it will show on the outside as well. That concludes the season of Health Matters. Until next time, wishing you and your family good health and happiness. Goodbye.